Good morning, YouTube. Um, over on his channel, uh, Vogta2100, Vogta has an interesting video up about education in Afghanistan. It's picking up on comments made by the president of Afghanistan, Hamid Karzai, uh, and also sort of followed up by the UN and so on, um, about how few children go to school in Afghanistan. Uh, just a quote from Hamid Karzai. This is in one of the articles that um, is linked to by Vogta. Quote, Five million school-aged children in our country do not go to school, some because of war or because their schools have been closed by the Taliban, or others, some because they do not have the ability to go to schools. Um, and he says, well, if five million children aren't going to school, what's the point of going to uh, of, of us being in Afghanistan? Um, I'd like to to show you um, a bit why um, and why I think Vogter is looking at this very much in a glass half empty way. This is a graph to show change in educational participation over time in Afghanistan. Um, I'll the data is taken from UNESCO. Uh, unfortunately, you can't deep link to their data sets, or I can't see how you do it. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to the search engine for the UNESCO data sets, along with instructions on how to get this data. The um, And I'll also put in links to these pictures so you can see them uh, in, in, in more detail. The blue line, the top line, is enrollment in primary, all grades, total. It goes from 749,360 in 2000 to 4,887,523 in 2008, the last year for which data are available. Now, I should say that, and this is marked as such on, on the UNESCO data set, there are real problems in collecting data in Afghanistan. If you look at the data set, the full education data set, you'll see there's a lot of blanks on there. I've chosen these indicators because they're the ones where uh, the, that are most complete. Now, b because of the figures, that distorts things a bit. So this is a second graph, again, showing change in educational participation over time in Afghanistan. Um, but just without enrolment in primary, all grades, total. The orange line, which is which is now at the top, is enrolment in primary, all grades, female. In 2008, it stands at 1,868,732. In 2000 and 2001, it was zero. None. That is a hell of an improvement. And the, you see the same story in, uh, in secondary education as well, which are, which are also linked there. Now, that is not to say the situation is good. It is not good. It is bad. But it is improving. Now, it, it's a difficult situation, and things aren't improving as quickly as we'd like. But... This is, I think, evidence of sustained, significant improvement in educational participation, and particularly the participation of girls in education uh, since um, 2001. Now, there's a few different reasons why educational attainment or ed educational attendance is so low. One of them is conflict. A lot of Afghanistan is or has been a war zone recently. And so just getting around can be difficult. Literally getting to wherever the school happens to be. Um, there may not even be a road or you know, IEDs on the road, unexploded ordnance and so on. You also have the baleful effect of the Taliban. This is one of the cases where we say it is the Taliban rather than a different group. Um although I know the Taliban is a sort of group of groups. They um, are hostile to any education of women and are hostile to much education of boys if it doesn't conform to what they think should be in the curriculum. 
and will take actions to stop people going to school. And so, you know, despite that, people are going to school. So that is part of it. There is also a deeply ingrained conservatism and sexism in Afghan society, and that is going to take a long, long time to change. Uh, Afghanistan is also, as you know, one of the very poorest countries in the world. And it's literally a case of children having to work to support themselves and their families and not having time to go to school. There's no culture of education because of the experience of the Taliban and all the disruption and problems that Afghanistan has had in recent history. Often there's just a lack of facilities. Um, a school sometimes isn't uh, even a building. It's a tent or maybe sometimes just sheltering under trees. There's a particular problem with a lack of women teachers. Again, when the you know professional women teachers, it takes time to train teachers up. So things are improving, but admittedly, you know, slowly, not as quickly as we'd want, but they are improving. It's also important to note there's variation between provinces, and this is something that is brought up in uh, the links in Volkter's videos. There are some provinces which are doing very much worse than that, some which are doing very much better than that. Um, so, I, I take Vogter's point. Um, it's not good, it is bad, that perhaps 5 million um, children in Afghanistan who should be getting an education aren't. But equally, millions are getting an education, particularly girls that were not getting an education beforehand. Now, the, um, there's something else I'd say. We're not in Afghanistan... To, do, to, to give people an education. Yes, we're building schools. Yes, we're providing security. Yes, we're you know, trying to get people to go to school, training up teachers and so on. That's a means to an end. And the end is to prevent further attacks, on the, you know, as I see it anyway, further attacks on the territory of the West being carried out, planned, initiated from the territory of Afghanistan. Now, now we're in Afghanistan, we have responsibilities, I think, to do the job properly. Uh, we can't just leave. But I view this as, you know, I think like education, as giving people the ability to run their own state, run their own country, so that you won't see further terrorist attacks or, you know, see people, um, see women teachers having acid thrown in their face for the crime of wanting to teach girls. Anyway, in brief, I take Vogter's point, but I don't think he has the full picture because the situation has improved tremendously. I mean, just to give it again, from zero girls in primary education in 2000 to 1,868,732 in 2008... That's a hell of an improvement. I'm Landon Cole. I'll see you next time.